assalamu alaikum students in the last lecture we studied sub sequences and a very important theorem which is bolzano weierstrass theorem which states that every bounded sequence has a convergent sub sequence okay since a cauchy sequence is a bounded sequence okay so being a bounded sequence so every cauchy sequence has a convergent sub sequence according to bolzano weierstrass theorem so we are going to prove the theorem that every cauchy sequence of real numbers has a convergent sub sequence okay so every cauchy sequence of real numbers has a convergent sub sequence okay so this thing follows from the bolzano weierstrass theorem so now let us prove this theorem suppose sn is a cauchy sequence and s and k where k goes from 1 to infinity is a sub sequence of sn okay so we are considering a cauchy sequence sn and its sub sequence s and k okay so this sub sequence will also be a cauchy sequence okay so here s and k is also a cauchy sequence okay so from the definition of a cauchy sequence so for an epsilon greater than 0 there exists a positive integer and not say that sn k minus sn k minus 1 mod is less than epsilon over 2 to the power k for all n k n k minus 1 greater than n not so where k is greater than or equal to 1 okay so s and k is a sub sequence of sn and this sub sequence is a cauchy sequence so from the definition of a cauchy sequence sn k minus sn k minus 1 so which this is the difference of two consecutive terms in the sequence so we discussed it in a previous lecture so when we defined a cauchy sequence okay so this thing is less than epsilon over 2 to the power k here we can take any function of epsilon so here we have taken epsilon over 2 to the power k so for k greater than or equal to 1 so here now let us consider a term bk 
of this sequence. So we can write BK is, so let us consider BK is S n1 minus S n0 plus S n2 minus S n1 plus S n3 minus S n2 plus S n4 minus S n3 up to so on. In general, S n k minus S n k minus 1. So we are taking a term B k which is like this. So here you can see that here all these terms S n 1 cancels with this, S n 3 cancels with this and all these terms are cancelled except S n naught and S n k. So here B k mod will be equal to S n 1 minus S n naught plus S n 2 minus S n 1 plus S n 3 minus S n 2 up to so on S n k minus S n k minus 1 mod. Okay. Now, if we expand this mod using the triangular inequality, so we can write this thing as, so this implies B k mod is less than or equal to S n 1 minus S n naught mod plus S n 2 minus S n 1 mod plus up to so on S n k minus S n k minus 1 mod and if we plug in the values of these mods from this inequality so here you can see that when k is 1 so we get S n 1 minus S n naught mod is less than epsilon to the power 2 and when k is equal to 2 so we get S n 2 minus S n 1 mod is less than epsilon over 2 to the power 2 and so on. So we can replace these mods with their values from this inequality. So we get B k mod is less than epsilon over 2 plus epsilon over 2 squared plus epsilon over 2 cube and so on epsilon over 2 to the power k. So this can be further written as B k mod is less than taking epsilon common. So we can write it as 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 squared plus 1 by 2 cubed up to so on plus 1 by 2 to the power k. And this sum over here is basically a geometric series. And this sum can be found by using the formula for the sum of k terms of a geometric series. So this thing is equal to epsilon and this sum will be equal to. So, so the sum of k terms of a geometric series will be this s k will be equal to a into 1 minus r to the power k over 1 minus r. So, where r is the common ratio. So, here the common ratio is 1 by 2. So, we get epsilon and here 1 by 2, 1 minus 1 by 2 to the power k over 1 minus 1 by 2. So, which simplifies to epsilon into 1 by 2, 1 minus 1 by 2 k over 1 by 2. So, this thing cancels. So, for all k greater than or equal to 1. Okay, so for all k greater than or equal to 1, so this expression will be 
a number less than 1 so this whole expression will be less than epsilon okay so so here bk is bk mod is less than epsilon so here bk mod is less than epsilon and here we saw that bk is equal to basically all these terms are cancelled except sn naught and sn k so bk is equal to sn k minus sn naught this implies sn k minus sn naught mod is less than epsilon so here sn naught is a fixed number so this implies sn k sequence converges to sn naught so which implies sn k is convergent okay so the subsequence sn k is convergent which brings us to the proof of our theorem okay so we proved that every Cauchy sequence of real numbers has a convergent subsequence okay we suppose the Cauchy sequence Sn and its subsequence Snk and we prove that Snk is a convergent sequence and in the next lecture we will prove Cauchy criterion for the convergence of a sequence that every sequence of real numbers is convergent if and only if it is a Cauchy sequence.